Okay, I'm going to show you how to uh, use the print function in Lightroom. Uh, this is Lightroom 4.2 that I'm using. Um, and this is kind of uh, looking to do something like printing on a, uh, a greetings card or something like that, um, which is pretty simple and easy to do from Lightroom's uh, print uh, menu up here. So um, first of all, this is the, the photo. It's a photograph I took in, uh, in Italy uh, on my honeymoon in 2005. Um, and I think it would be quite nice on a greetings card, so I'm just going to have a, a go at doing that. So I just go straight into the print um, tab at the top here, and what it does is it shows me um, the paper and the borders around the image, uh, and that's how it's going to look like uh, when I print it. Uh, it says here that the paper is A4 and it's going to print it on the Brother printer. Um, so the paper size is A4. If I want to change that, I can do that under Page Setup. Um, and you'll be able to choose your printer and the paper size there. I'm just going to go with A4 for the time being, just uh, for this tutorial. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to assume that I'm making a greetings card. Uh, and perhaps the greetings card is A5 size. So, of course, when you buy that greetings card paper, it comes as an A4 sheet uh, already scored, um, ready to fold in half to make an A4 um, and A5 greetings card. Um, so we need to be able to get the picture rotated here and then moved over to the right hand side so it appears on the front of that card. It's always good, by the way, just to test this on a blank sheet of paper before you actually um, put your real greetings card uh, card into the printer just to test everything's the right way round and what have you. Okay, so you'll see you've got lots of options down the right hand side here in the print menu. Um, the, the biggest one really, the one we're going to be looking at most is these margins here. Um, you can change the units from centimetres to inches, millimetres, whatever. Um, I tend to prefer millimetres. Um, and then it's really easy to do what we can just if I start bringing over the margin on the left hand side um, and you'll notice that um, that's just rotated the image because uh, we've got rotate to fill checked here under image settings so when I move that right hand uh, sorry left hand margin it's moving it into the appropriate place then what it becomes about is just simple mathematics really knowing the measurements of A4 paper which I happen to know is 297 millimeters by 210 millimeters, and then it's working out what borders you want around the image and where that halfway line will fall. So if the margin from the left-hand side, we know it's 297 millimeters on that long edge, so half of 297 is 148.5, I believe, just to be precise. So if I put in 108.5 there, that gives me the halfway line here, and then I can just uh, adjust perhaps the, the borders elsewhere just to make sure that fits fit nice fits nice and neatly. And that's pretty much it. Um, that's going to, when we go to print that, um, it will print that picture on the right hand side of an A4 sheet, so do a test first. Um, and then obviously when you put your greetings card stock in the printer, um, it's going to print that on the, on the front of the card. Um, and the principles are pretty much the same for different size cards and different orientations. Um, really, you've just got to play around with these margins and do a little bit of measuring, uh, a bit of simple mathematics, really. Um, going down here, it's got things like guides. Well, that's just helping you set this up. Uh, a page background color, no, we're not going to do that. Identity plate for putting on a sort of a watermark and things, no, we don't want to do that. Um, we don't want any page numbers or anything like that. We could have the photo info. Um, if we wanted to, it's useful for other things like doing contact sheets and things, but for a greetings card, we don't really want to do that. Um, and then you've got print resolution, 300 PPI pixels per inch, that's what it should be. Print sharpening, standard media type matte. So if you're doing it on matte or glossy paper, it's best to select the appropriate one. Um, and then go ahead and print, and that, that's basically it. Um, so yeah, um, that's how to, to print out from Lightroom um, to do something like a greetings card. Hope that's useful. Thanks very much.